Hear this? You're just having dinner with your family. You had mac and cheese because it's your daughter's favorite food. After you're done eating, you play with your kids for a while before putting them to bed because they have school in the morning. And then you spend some quality time with your wife, relaxing and watching TV, and you hear a knock on the door. You open the door and as the door slides, you see someone that looks like they have been defeated. He has a bag over his shoulders and his body is tired. And he says, please, can you spare me some food? And you say, of course, you bring him in. And as he's eating, he asks if he can spend the night because he has nowhere else to go. And you say, of course, you take him to the guest room and you make sure he has everything he has for the night. You go to the room, you kiss your wife goodnight and you fall asleep. You wake up to the sound of your children screaming. You rush out of bed and you notice your wife isn't there. So you start to lose sense of reality. You get to the living room and you see that all your children are dead. Your wife is naked with a hole between her eyes from where the bullet penetrated. And before you realize it, there's a gun pointed at your head by the same guy you fed your daughter's favorite food to. How do you think you would feel at that very moment? The worst you've ever felt, right? Wrong, I'm not done with the story yet. The media walks in and points their camera at you, portrays you as the bad guy. They say that this is not even your home. They have the whole world siding with the guy that just murdered and raped your whole family. They're paying celebrities and influencers to side with the oppressor to make you look like the oppressor. Now tell me, how would you feel at that very moment? It's called Palestine. This is genocide. This is ethnic cleansing. What Hitler was doing to them, they're doing to us. Choose the right side of history. Choose Palestine.